We're in Belgium for round four of the FA World Rallycross Championship, but of course this weekend the RX2 Championship starts. I've got a couple of drivers here. One who you won't know, Tanner Witten, who's from the United States. He's an experienced RX Lights driver. Of course, RX2 is what RX Lights was. And Kevin Erickson, of course, is a supercar driver in the World Championship and has been a champion of RX Lights and, uh, and knows the cars inside out. Guys, welcome to Belgium. Thank you. Cold, sunny, it's gonna rain, I think, this weekend, but, but we're here to have a look at the track. Turn one, Kevin, from there, coming round to here. Uh, we've seen a few people in the barriers out there. Yeah, I mean, the first lap, we come from the wrong way around, if I say that, uh, and from the start. The start, start is quite short, and it's very, very tight first corner, with, with, especially with six cars in the semi-finals, finals. But then we come down here, and we have this jump, who, you know, I mean, it looks like a downhill, but we really, we, we jump far. We need to go off the throttle. Especially like when we come from speed on the normal The standard line. lap is yeah. really fast. Because then you need to break it because otherwise it's so easy to nose it or like if you're like sideways, it's easy to get a puncture. So it's, mm. it's a very dangerous place for that. But you can also gain time if you're man enough. Now Tana, if all these tracks are new for you, yeah. so well, I mean, you're, you're soaking this up, I can tell, but are you excited about taking on this behind us? I am, yes, yes. Uh, back in America, the jumps are, are, are massive. So I'm used to jumping the lights car and, and understand how they feel once once the, uh, once the they get light. And they are very difficult to jump with that, with being mid-engine, the, the back end of the car likes to kick up over the over the jumps. You really have to manage the brakes and throttle over the, uh, over the takeoff. But coming through turn one here, it's gonna be almost flat down the hill just because we don't have a lot of power to build speed. But certainly once we start on left two, Four, we're definitely going to be trailing a little bit of break as we go off the top. Awesome. Right, let's head around to the gravel section. Yep. So, Kevin, end of the straight here. This is super fast in a supercar. Yeah. And, and then look how narrow that is. And the curve on the right side has caused quite a few people a few problems. Yeah, it's been a lot of problems. It's very, very tight. So it's easier if you come too fast in, you get understeer. And you're like, oh. And <laughs> I mean, to be honest, the, the curve doesn't look to be so harmful. Like, it doesn't look so bad. But if you clip it, like, in high speed, it's easier to get a puncture. Or we have even, you know, sometimes seen the whole damper going right up, up the, the hood. Bonnet, up yeah. through the bonnet, yeah. So it's a place where you need to, you need to, you know, you, know, you can gain a lot of time since, since it's a high speed corner, but it's also very dangerous because you, if you get a puncture, you're, you're way behind. You're gone. And Tanner, this section here, gravel heading up, we've got the walls super close on the left, the tire bales close on the right. Yeah. In an RX2 car, you guys have got to, have got to be accurate, I guess. I I mean, this whole straightaway here is the most important part of the track. And you need to, that, that tight hairpin at the end leads down onto this longest straightaway. So even though this is tight, we have to try and maintain as much speed as we can because it's not like a supercar where we can just click down a gear and, and, and match the again. gas and, and, and get up to speed. So this whole section here is going to be really crucial managing. It looks like it's going to be wet this weekend. So it's going to be interesting to see how that all plays out. But yeah, just trying to be as tidy and smooth as you can through here is super, super important. And of course, that leads up to the joke lap. So I guess we're going yep. to take a look there. Yep. Yannis Brownmanis of the Joe Clap guest appearance for us in our track walk. So Joe Clap split here, Kevin, and again, this is all on gravel, really quite tricky. Yeah, the Yorker is tricky, it's very tight. You don't really see it here, but it's, you need to have precise and you need to like, because the speed, you get, you get more speed out and you need as much speed as possible to be able to like pass the guy sure. on the straight, on, on the, the straight. outside, and then just go in and then we're back on the, on the, yeah, on the finish line there. So. It's a it's a technical yoker, but I like it because it's you know you can make as a driver you can make the difference if you know what I mean. Yeah, sure. If, if a yoker is too easy, it's it's no really difference. Here you yeah, can you here, here you can win the race, but you can also lose it. You want to see the difference in commitment between the drivers. Take a risk on the joker. Exactly. Tanner, same for you guys. You got to be tidy through here. Yeah, it's extremely tidy. Like like Kevin was saying, it's it's uh, certainly a much longer run out of the joker down into turn one than it's or the last turn than it is uh, with the regular line. So there's I think there's an opportunity to make up some speed um, as you exit the joker lap. So I think it's going to be super super crucial for us. Now this isn't going to be easy for you is it? I know you're an experienced RX2 driver, lights of course as we've called before but, but there's some very very quick guys. This yeah. for me is the strongest year this championship's ever had. Yeah I think just in general we have a great package. We have great leadership with Ian Davies and Andreas Eriksson with OMSC. A veteran teammate Cyril Raymond and an experienced uh, teammate Taya Sarani um, and, and bringing over my partner traction factor from the US has been a huge support as well so uh, really really looking forward to, to getting going here. Wish you the best of yeah. luck for the year. Appreciate it. Thank Kevin, you. Kevin hope your luck changes this weekend. Thank Go you. for it. Cheers lads. Perfect.